Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Share Share. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about design, DIYs, lifestyle tips, and my personal journey as I become a new mom. And what's really exciting is the fact that one of my best friends in the whole wide world, Sarah Lynn from The Domestic Geek, is also pregnant. So we are going to be new moms at the exact same time. There's gonna be so many play dates. It's so, so exciting. And I thought it'd be really fun to create the most epic pom-pom diaper cake there is out there to celebrate her bundle of joy. So let's get started in three, two, one. I absolutely love seeing people smile and it just really warms my heart when I can give something to them that is really special and see their face light up. I think that's really why I like to push the limits. And if I'm giving a gift to someone, not only is there thought in giving the gift, but it's all about the packaging as well. All the little details, all the little materials, how it comes together, the color palette. It just really makes me so happy. Now, when I mentioned Epic, it's because this diaper cake is not just a bunch of diapers wrapped in wrapping paper. There are three elements. So the first one is obviously the practicality of having 100 diapers. Number two, there's a special surprise in the center for the parents. And number three is a little decor for the nursery. In terms of the scale of easy to expert, I would say it lands somewhere in the middle. And mostly because it takes a little bit more time than some of my usual DIYs, but it's really not that hard. Here's what you'll need. Approximately 100 newborn diapers, a ruler, clear tape, a sharp knife, scissors, and a pencil, rubber bands, extra large and small, glue sticks, a glue gun, white coffee filters, colorful wrapping paper, one sheet of white Bristol board, one piece of 24 inches by 36 inches white foam core, glitter tissue paper, three white mini pom-pom garlands, lots of colorful pom-poms, for the pom-poms, I just did a quick little search on YouTube and found a great tutorial. And what I did was spent an evening in front of the computer, watched some Netflix, and made about 50 pom-poms. And last but not least, a nice bottle of bubbly, preferably in a box. To make a three-tiered cake, start by taking one package of diapers out of the box leaving the plastic around them. This is going to be the bottom of our cake with approximately 64 diapers. Measure the height and the width of each side. Add approximately half an inch to each width and cut the piece of foam core to size. The foam core acts as a base for your cake and it'll just help with transporting or if you want to wrap it in clear cellophane later. Now measure the width of the box of your sparkling wine. Place the diapers centered on the foam core. Find the center of the diapers and cut a square the same size as the box of sparkling wine. Fold the plastic back and remove some of the diapers. Take six diapers, fold them each in half, and then put three on one side and three on the other. And this will just fill up the space. You basically need enough space for a three and a half inch by three and a half inch box. Place the bottle of sparkling wine in the center and make sure you have a tight fit and it feels secure. Feel free to add more diapers if you need to. Now it's time for the paper icing. Take two sheets of tissue paper and fold into quarters. Cut a diagonal line, place the tissue over the box of wine and tuck in the folds into the base of the diaper cake, smoothing out any wrinkles. Square off the corners by tucking in the tissue paper. And I like to do a hospital edge and just use a clear piece of tape to secure. Repeat for all four corners. For the second tier, you're going to make diaper bundles. Take six diapers and tie a rubber band around to secure. You'll need to make four bundles in total. Place a bundle on its side next to the bottle of wine. Take another diaper bundle and place the unfolded edge against the first bundle's folded edge. Repeat until all four sides are lined up. Take an extra large rubber band to hold the diapers in place. Add a layer of tissue, or as I like to call it again, the paper frosting, by repeating the same steps as we did for the base of the cake. Trim off any excess tissue paper. For the top tier of the cake, I wanted to add some texture, so we're making flowers. Take a coffee filter, fold it in half, Pinch the center and twist. Place the coffee filter flower approximately an inch down from the edge of the diaper and roll very tightly, securing with a rubber band. 
fluff and open up the coffee filter carefully so it starts to resemble flower petals. You'll need approximately 12 of these rolled diapers for the top tier. Place four diapers against the bottle of wine and secure with a rubber band. Continue to place the diapers until you no longer see the bottle of wine. Next, it's time to add some decorative details to make this cake really stand out. I'm going to make paper sleeves to go around each tier. Start by measuring the width and the height. Transfer the measurements to a piece of bristle board and cut out. Depending on the size of your bristle board, you may need to cut out two pieces for each tier, which you can later glue together, so not to worry. Make sure to indicate where the corners are as well. Add at least half an inch extra to secure the edges. Use your ruler to help fold the bristle board so that your corners are nice and crisp and cut off any excess. Cut the wrapping paper to cover each piece of bristle board, making sure that you have at least one inch extra for the length and the width. To get nice, clean edges, fold over and secure with clear tape. For the bottom tier, I'm using hot glue to adhere the two sections together, making sure everything has a nice fit. Repeat the same steps for the second tier. Quick note, the top tier is slightly higher with the rolled diapers, so I made sure to measure first and make the paper sleeve so that it goes all the way up to the coffee filter flowers. Place the final paper sleeve into position and secure with hot glue. All right, now it's time to decorate. Wrap your white mini pom-pom garlands around the base of each tier. Cut off any excess and glue the ends together. To make one long garland, just tie the colorful pom-poms together and then drape over the diaper cake. And if you really want to fancy it up, add a flower topper. Now that I'm done, I am super excited because I get to reveal the epic diaper cake to Sarah Lynn and her husband, Greg. Let's see what they think. Can you get the baby a pony? Yes! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What is that? And it spins? <laughs> Did you make this? I made it. Are you serious? I made it. You made a, a cake present? <laughs> what is this? It's insane. That's super cool. It is a pom-pom diaper cake. <laughs> is, there, is there diapers in it? We need diapers. There is an extra surprise, but it's obviously so epic. you're gonna have. Is to my baby gonna come out of here instead of out of me? <laughs> that would be the best. Wait, no, I can see that. Look, do you see it? There's diapers. <laughs> There's diapers in here. So we don't even unwrap it now because it's like basically. Well, because like, yeah, it's kind it of can like, act as decor exactly. in the room. We love you. Come here. I love you guys. <laughs> so what do you think of this epic diaper cake? Give me a thumbs up if you loved it. And I just love reading all your comments, so make sure to put that in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really had a blast creating this for Sarah and Greg, and I can't wait to meet their little ones soon. The best feeling in the world is just seeing your friends' faces when they open it up. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a like if you're into diaper cakes and thought this was totally epic. Make sure to also leave a comment below. I always respond to everyone who wants to chat. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It's really important to just sort of smash that notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new video. So I will be back. More videos, I still have the nursery gonna be coming up in a couple of weeks. I have a bathroom reno that I wanna share and a few more little tips on pregnancy. So I will see you again soon.